Hello beautiful friends, welcome back to my channel and thanks so much for watching. Today I am probably doing one of the most highly requested videos I've ever had on my channel. Um, it's a little awkward to, to like talk about because generally being that I like fashion videos, I love to do try on hauls and I am not trying on bras and putting that on YouTube, okay? Not happening. So I'm gonna be sharing the best bras for bigger busts. I've got strapless bras, bralettes, sports bras, regular underwire bras, and then a few good bras that don't have underwires as well. So I've got a lot of information that I really wanna share with you guys, so I'm not gonna keep you here too long in the intro. Please, if you're new here, go ahead and click the subscribe button below. I'd love to have you join the YouTube family. My name is Mariah, and I put up three videos each week in like lifestyle, beauty, mainly fashion videos, um, and I'd love to have you join the family. Also know that everything I'm going to be talking about is going to be linked in the description bar below for you guys, but I also will include outfit details, like hair details, makeup details down there. So pretty much all of it's going to be in the description box, but let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so like I said, I'm not trying this on. I know I will have someone who's probably so sassy about that, but like, let me ask you to put a, a video up of you putting your bra on for the world to see. Like, that's just a little awkward. Um, and YouTube would probably censor it. And also, the creeps, like, have field days with, like, bathing suit videos. I can't imagine how bad it would be if I tried these bras on. So you will just have to trust me on the way that some of them look. All right, so I'm going to start out with a little bit of information first. So I am, you can't see... I am generally a like 34 triple D. Um, if I do have to wear a double D, I generally go up to like a 36. But on an average day, I am a 34 triple D. People always tell me, they're like, there's no way. But I carry them really well because my shoulders are super broad. And I'm always like, I will show you my bra size, girl. I will show you. Like, they're massive. Um, and they're a lot to carry. I am one of the only people in my family who has really really large boobs and so for so long I, I couldn't really find help <laughs> I was like guys I need help and no one can help me um but I have finally found some really good stuff so just know 34 triple d and I like generally wear a medium in shirts if that helps at all um so I'll start out I guess with the regular bras so I on a daily basis wear this like one of the best bras I've ever owned in my life. The brand is Warner's. Yeah, Warner's. And a bone pick is they don't have normal sizing, which is really frustrating. Um, I think, yeah, this is like a 38C, which is the oddest size, but one of the best bras. This does not have an underwire underneath it. I mean, it is fully, like you can bend it, mess with it. Um, you can get these bras for like under 30 bucks on Amazon. They, I guess like Warners are known for being the bras that don't have underwire. They do have some underwire bras, but I, I can't stand underwire. I want nothing to do with it. I'm wearing one today and it is driving me up the wall. Like it is not natural to have a wire sitting against your chest all day. So, um, if you are bigger chested, you know that it's hard to find like a good looking bra. I do have a really like, I guess kind of sexy lace bra um, that I will share with you guys. But for the most part, like the bras are pretty average looking. Um, so I like that these still look pretty decent, very normal, like a normal bra, but they like the sizing is a little bit off. This actually makes my boobs look really good. Even my mom one time, she was like, I was wearing a look at shirt. She was like, what bra are you wearing? Your boobs look fantastic. And I was like, oh, I'm wearing this one. And I showed her, she was like, God, your boobs look amazing. So sizing is a little bit weird, but if you're looking for a good nude day-to-day -day bra, like over and over, I find myself reaching for this one. I just can't, like the sizing is so odd to me. And I have a strapless bra that's the same way. And I'm like, how is it possible that I go from wearing a 34 triple D to having to size to a 38 C. Like that's kind of just, it's odd to me, but if you find the bra that fits, which is another good thing about Amazon is like their returns are very easy. Um, if you can get your sizing nailed down, like best bra, 100% without a doubt, like one of the best bras that I have ever owned in my life. And I actually just ordered like two more uh, yesterday, maybe it was yesterday. So, sticking with the regular bra, this is like the, I guess, more sexy one. I've probably worn this like total like 10 times because it's hard to wear under 
like regular clothes um but this is a lace bra that does have an underwire and it does have a slight push-up what i like about this one is the sides again like i can't show it to you but the sides i feel go up a little bit higher um so like side boob isn't really a big issue with this bra um this one is very very comfortable to wear i don't love victoria's secret bras like i think that victoria's secret isn't the most like inclusive with their true sizing um i mean they do have a 34 triple d but i feel like once you get any bigger than this like they just have those dumpy bras and their bras are so expensive um and they're probably the most ill-fitting of all the bras that i have but this one does work i don't wear it a ton um i mean i think if you're looking for like a more sexy bra option this is it i feel like this looks massive like i keep that's why i keep putting it down because i just feel like this looks massive but i mean it fits <laughs> like this literally is is a really good fitting bra and this is my true bra size but if you're looking for like a sexier bra and you have very large boobs i do recommend victoria's secret for that but not for like a day-to-day -day basis i just think it's a little um unnecessary but this like i said does have an underwire to it and it does have a slight push-up right here but it's nothing crazy okay so i'm all about comfort um and one thing that i have found is like especially now i don't feel like i have to give up like cuteness or even like style for comfort um and the older i get the like less willing i like i don't care if something's ugly i will choose comfort over style but i i do still have a few cute options this is not one of them <laughs> okay this is a nude bralette i feel like i get my um like the bras i know i'm gonna wear the most in a nude color because then i can wear them under white you know so this is just a like plain bralette nothing crazy it has adjustable straps it doesn't have cups on the inside um it does have like a thick band at the bottom but it's not like a true push-up this is one of the most comfortable bras i own that doesn't give any like a peel to your chest like when i wear this if i wear a shirt over it like this is what i actually wear a lot of times when i'm wearing a white shirt and you can't like it doesn't make my boobs look dumpy but it definitely like you wouldn't take this off and it would be like oh that's a nice looking bra <laughs> like it looks very old lady like but it's very comfortable and really really supportive um i don't feel like the straps dig in on me i love that they are adjustable um and this one is from target i don't know if it has the line name Ooh, that's rubbing off i'll link the exact one below but i know that this is from target and i tell everybody i'm like girl if you like nude underwear nude bras nude bralettes any of that target like literally the day before my wedding me and all of my bridesmaids went to target and got nude underwear because i was like y'all you've got to try this nude underwear and some of them were like i needed to get some like i only have white underwear and so um we all went to Target and like bought the same kind of underwear because it was just amazing. So um, this is a really, really good one that's comfortable. But like I said, it's not going to give you that very appealing. Um, I don't want I don't want to keep saying sexy because that's just like not a word I generally use to describe myself. But sexy look, you ain't going to get it from this. This is very simple. So as far as normal bras go, if I had to rank those, I would say that first the Warner's bra, without a doubt, like so, like the best I can't even form words it's the best bra that I own and it doesn't have an underwire still makes your boobs look good if I had to rank them again I would say like this one is second um it's comfortable but it does not look the most appealing and then third I would have to say this because this isn't very comfortable but it does look really nice um if that's kind of what you're going for and actually you can't see this lace like through a tight shirt like I've worn a, a fairly tight shirt with this not super form-fitted but fairly tight and you couldn't tell I was wearing a lace bra underneath so this bad boy is the whole reason this video is being created and I get this question all the time what strapless bra do you recommend because you guys will notice that like in a video i'm not wearing it and most of the time if i'm wearing a, a top um if i can remember like i'll link my outfit details you can find the bra linked within the outfit details link because i want to be able to share this so my mom i'm not gonna take credit for this my mom was actually the one who discovered this bra it is from amazon it is strapless one of the best bras i've ever owned the best strapless bra i've ever owned but so so good so 
The sizing is a little bit weird. We were in a wedding, in my brother's wedding actually, last September. And so my mom was actually the one who was looking, and we don't have the same size boobs, but she was like, I need a strapless bra to wear with this dress, and I need to find a good one. She ended up getting the wrong size, and I was still kind of on the hunt for a bra, and so she was like, why don't you just try it out? And I was like, mom, that size isn't gonna fit me. Again, a super weird sized bra, but I'd be danged if it did not fit me. Make my boobs look fabulous was comfortable and didn't fall down. So that was like a big th deal for me. I feel like when you are wearing a strapless bra and you have big, like a big chest, almost it's one of those things you don't even bother with because you know it's gonna be so hard to find. But like the digging in your chest that you get from strapless bras, like there have been so many times I'm like, I can't breathe in this bra because it's just like holding on so tight. I don't get this from that. It does have slight push-ups on the inside, so it makes your boobs look fabulous. Like I had, to, I think it was one of the bridesmaids. She was like, what bra are you wearing? Cause your boobs look amazing. Um, it does come in a few different colors, but I got the nude because obviously it's the most versatile. Like I can wear this in like wedding, you know, weddings that I'm in, um, just like regular top stuff like that. And I won't have to worry about it showing through, but this is such a good strapless bra. It does have the triple clasp on the back, which is one thing every single one of these bras have, I believe. Yeah. Every single triple D bra, like every single bra that basically I've ever seen that goes above a D, um, you're gonna have that triple clasp, which this one does. It does have like a no slip kind of grip on the back, but it's not uncomfortable. I danced all night long. I actually had a dress that um, I could tie it over my shoulder and it got a little bit uncomfortable. So I ended up untying it and just wearing the dress strapless for the reception. I danced the entire reception, did not have to pull up my dress, didn't have to pull up the sports bra, didn't feel like it was like digging anywhere. Uh, like this is literally the reason I'm making this video is because this bra is the best. Now sizing wise, I cannot remember which one I got. I have to go back and look because I cut the tag off. I have to go back and look and I'll put it on the screen. The sizing is so weird. My mom ended up, I believe she had to return it twice before she finally found the right size for her. It's just odd. Like I think, I, I don't know why sizing can't be universal. Like why everybody can't just get on the same page that like, are we gonna do numerical sizing? Are we gonna do like large, medium, small, all this? Are Like how are we gonna do it? And let's all do it the same. Because this is a 38C, pretty sure that's what this is, but this is a 34 triple D. Like, what? But, hands down, without a doubt, best bra out there ever. You won't regret it one bit. Just, just say, just trust me. Just go get it and thank me later. Well, thank my mama later. Okay, I wanna touch on the bralettes really quickly. So I do have two free people bralettes. This is the, like, I can't remember what the name of this one is. It's just like the floral pattern. And then I have this one that is nude. Um, I will say that the straps on both of these dig in significantly. These actually fit. I think that people with bigger chests are always afraid to go near like cute little things like this because they're not known for being the most inclusive for bigger chests. Now I do need to say I generally wear a medium and I did have to go up to a large and here's the reason. The medium would probably fit me better around the waist or around the chest, but I needed the large because the actual cup on this is not that big. So I needed that extra space um, to kind of like hold and secure my chest it does hold them in. I've never had issues with anything come popping out. I've never been nervous about it. I wore this one um, to a bachelorette party one time. I wore it for hours. Never once had popping out, nothing came falling out. I do like this one a little bit more just because it does have a little bit more support down here. Um, and these are both free people. So I highly recommend checking out the free people bralettes if you want them. Um, just just be careful with the sizing, you know, keep your receipt in case, but I do like the ones that have the thicker band at the bottom, just because I think that does provide a little bit more support for bigger chests. Okay, and sports bras. So I am a Fabletics ambassador and have been since the beginning of this year, and I get the question a lot. People will like DM me and they'll be like, for real though, do you actually wear your Fabletics? I work out five days a week and 
uh, probably four out of those five days, I'm in Fabletics in some way. I wear Fabletics shoes like those that they did not send to me. I bought those myself. Um, I love them. I think that they are inclusive with their sizing. They have different types of stuff. Like, so if you do yoga, I think you need a little bit, you need a different kind of legging versus like if you're a runner. And that's one of those things, like if you've ever worn running leggings doing yoga, you understand like yoga stuff. I like for it to hug me a little bit tighter than regular leggings. Um, I think the Fabletics is just amazing. So I really recommend checking out their sports bras. A few of you guys actually told me, I can't remember. I think it was the Mila. I'll put it on the screen. Um, I have the Mila, I believe sports bra and a bunch of you guys, when you, like I mentioned recently that I was looking for an Amazon sports bra, you were like, I really like the Fabletics Mila one that you recommended. And so if you have a bigger chest, I definitely recommend that one. Um, but I brought this in here because I wanted to share, like, this is a Fabletics sports bra. And my mom even the other day was like, that looks so supportive. Like I wore it to go work out with her. She was like, that looks so supportive and it's so cute. And I was like, mom, it seriously is like one of my favorite sports bras. And it's one shoulder. Like you would think that is so odd. I love this bra. I've never ran in this. That's the only thing I have not done, but I have done like high intensity interval training in this. I've done Pilates. I've done like, uh, all different kinds of like, I guess you would say cardio, but that's hit, you know, workout pretty much anything except for running. I have done it in the sports bra. So I highly, highly, highly recommend checking out Fabletics. I believe I get a large, yeah, I get a large in all of their sports bras just because I go more towards the size of my um, chest rather than like my cup size, if that makes sense. And I did read somewhere that like you need to kind of size up for Fabletics. So I do get the large in all the sports bras and then like medium in the um, like leggings or shorts or anything like that. So a really, really good quality. I cannot recommend them enough. And the video is not sponsored by them, but I do want to disclose to you guys just so that you don't think I'm like, keeping it for me like I am a Fabletics ambassador I genuinely believe in Fabletics product like this back here this is my drawer all of this side right here all the way back all Fabletics some of it I bought with my own money some of it they've sent to me those shoes are Fabletics I bought them myself like some of the best now this is hard for me. This was a hard realization. I highly recommend Fabletics, but I think I found a sports bra that might be better than Fabletics. And I didn't think that was going to happen. So Fabletics also has like things rated based on like how tight you want your bra to be. Um, like for instance, you know, if you're going to do yoga, you don't need the same kind of bra if you're going to go run. And I do like that, but this did not have that option. So I was like, I'm so spoiled with Fabletics. I don't get to pick what kind of workout I'm doing with my sports bra. This is just a generic, I believe it is an Amazon Essentials sports bra. 16 bucks, I think. I got it in a medium. The reviews were a little mixed and I was like, a little anxious. Um, I feel like most of them were really, really good, but then there were a few that were like, this bra did not last through a wash. So when they came in, my husband, the first thing he said was, oh my gosh, your chest looks tiny. And for him to say that, like <laughs> it really had to look small. And I went and looked in the mirror. I was like, God, it does look small. The biggest thing is I think this holds everything in that could be just that I got a medium but I wear a medium and like I said I go based off of my like chest size not my cup size when it comes to something like this and so I was like all right well medium that seems fine it holds the girls in place better than any sports bra I hate to say that I'm sorry Fabletics but better than any sports bra that I probably ever owned um I have it in this one and then I have it in the hot pink the hot pink is actually what I went running in today I forgot to shower after I self tan last night before I ran. And so when I sweated, I sweated self tanner all over it. And so it is not a cute looking bra right now. And I hope I did not ruin it, but I don't know if the self tanner is going to come out, but I ran in it and it did not budge. It doesn't come down. I've done pure bar in this. I think I ran on in this one too. I know. I mean, I ran in this one in hot pink today and then I did um, a bunch of jumping jacks in this one zero issues did not come up did not slide the straps didn't come off they weren't uncomfortable sometimes 
ow. Sometimes I'll feel right here like a strap is really digging into me if I am um, wearing the sports bra for a long period of time. And I don't know if it's just the way this one's made or how supportive it is, but I don't feel like there's a lot of pressure on my shoulders. I do like that it has a little slit in the back because again, like I don't like dumpy looking bras. Just because I have big boobs does not mean I deserve to have dumpy looking bras forever. So I think this one's really cute. It has mesh in the back. So it's like a little bit breathable. Um, and like I said, like 16 bucks, I think from Amazon, I got a medium fits me really well cute colors um one thing i will say is and i didn't notice it in the gray i don't know if it was just the pink but the headlights when they come on you can see them very well and i feel like in a lot of sports bras i mean honestly if that freaks you out if my nipple showing freaks you out when i'm working out you probably just need to get away from me. Like, that's not my problem. I'm not going to worry about it. But when I walked out in my hot pink sports bra this morning, my husband was like, Mariah, <laughs> like I can literally see your nipples. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I mean, I'm going to go run by myself. Like, in the like who cares? In the woods, who cares? And um, he was like, I'm just letting you know. I didn't notice that with the gray one. So I don't know if it was just like the pink. Maybe that this one has a little bit more of a pattern. Um, but if you are self-conscious about something like that, then just make sure you get like a darker color. But it doesn't bother me one bit. Like, if my nipples freak you out, I will. I'm not sorry. Just don't look at them. Go somewhere else. Okay, guys. And that is it. I hope that I covered everything. I feel like it's a lot to talk about bras and I again I'm so sorry that I can't try these on but I just know that the creepy creeps on YouTube would have a field day with that so and I watched a bunch of videos um, about bras on YouTube's and on YouTube and I've never seen them put them on probably for the same reason so um, thank you guys for watching I just really hope that you can trust my opinion on these I hope that you can figure out like how the sizing works with your chest um, regardless of what size you wear these are some of the best bras ever and I hope that you guys enjoyed it please don't forget to go below and click the subscribe button if you are new here I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video